Hey guys, so I'm using the MC Princess Cannon. So the MC Princess Cannon is a very powerful screen which can make anybody's head explode. Basically the equivalent of a kindergarten class. On tower control, the MC Princess Cannon- Wrong game again. First we got Fortnite st- I mean, borrowing inspiration from the ancient and baller. A little too much. So this cannon is in Splatoon 2. Is it basically a watered down killer whale like all the other special? Oh gosh! What is that blast radius? Oh my god! MC Princess Cannon, Splatoon 2's version of the killer whale. Ever since his weapon was leaked before the final Splatfest was announced, it created a lot of hype for the corresponding stage that it was on. Since it's on one stage and only one mode, I can't do the whole X weapon is good on such and such rank mode, but it can indirectly get a ton of turf for your team if you aim it in the right place. If you don't get killed by the other team, if you can manage to get there in the first place. When Pearl descends like freaking God on Judgment Day, it's about to the death to see who lives and who dies, all while Pearl watches with her invincibility frames and her oversized crown. Everyone run into Pearl as like a Black Friday sale. Everyone's trying to get that princess juice all at once. Why on earth would I script a sentence like that? Family friendly channel, y'all! Yes! I got it! Come on, use- Aw, oh, of course, the one person who was alive killed me! And look at that thing slowly sink into our ink. That's just pitiful. My cannon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Looks like it's time for me to get a clean getaway. Sorry to burst your bubble with my own. Now I bathe in my victory. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me! Now that part one of the ritual is over, this leads to part two. Getting the chance to actually use Pearl. Assuming that there are a couple people on your team left, you have to obtain her the frame that she becomes available. This is the one time I wish there was friendly fire in the game so I can kill my teammates and use Pearl. I know, I'm a nice person. Come on, come on, give it to me! Aw, oh, you piece of crap. Step three, you have to know precisely where to aim Pearl. As someone who played on this map a whole seven times during the Splatfest, I have a slight hypothesis that there's one favor for where to aim these massive shockwaves. It, it, it's the base with the two ramps and the hyper bomb. But it doesn't always have to be used there, and opponents can get a huge scare when they see the danger zone that they're about to be engulfed in. Just be careful sometimes, because you might be killed by the last thing that's on your mind while you're preoccupied using the princess cannon. So either I got the aim of a cross-eyed armadillo, or I probably should have waited till they left the spawn. Oh gosh, Stingray, don't kill me, don't kill me! Duh. 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 Goose. Skin out, yup! Here we go, Pearly. Ready, aim, fight! Love... Love the early Christmas gift that go effect. Here, take mine. Death by bubbles. There's three different perspectives when this great weapon is fired. There's the person who fires and witnesses the mass genocide on the enemy team. There's the person who got the weapon swiped from right under their nose. And there's the person who was right between the ramps when the cannon is fired. Jeez, this is a huge basin and a huge source of turf for our team. It would be a shame if the enemy got to this area and just covered it all in their ink. Also, it's quite a vulnerable place to be. Oh my gosh, it's coming! Also, while I was looking up some details on MC Princess Cannon, I ran into the translations, and the tr Russian translation is Battle Scream. Um, I don't know why that reminded me of Spongebob, but it did. Victory Screech! <laughs> in conclusion, the MC Princess Cannon is a beefed up killer whale, which is very dangerous if you pinch your opponent in the right place. Paired with the hyper bombs on the MC Princess Diary stage, both of these supercharged weapons bring something very interesting to the table that cannot be experienced on any other maps. While main weapons can burst hyperbombs very quickly, the MC Princess Cannon is great at blowing up hyperbombs from any part of the map incredibly fast. The thing that sucks though is that you can't use it on other maps. I always wanted to see what this thing would look like on Bridge to Tennis Switchia, Port Macro, or better yet, even Piranha Pit. Well, what special do you want me to do next? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to Star 716 for more content on Splatoon 2 and other things gaming. See you all next time.